What up geekers, in today's episode, I'll be using VideoProc to edit and process my footage. So VideoProc is a powerful and user-friendly video editing software that is specially designed for vloggers like myself. With its intuitive interface and advanced features, it make it easy to create professional quality content whether you're a beginner or an experienced video editor. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I use VideoProc to trim, merge, and apply filters to my footage, as well as how to convert and compress my video files. So sit back, relax, and let's get started with this VideoProc vlogger. Before we start to our review, we have to download the software first. So the link is in the description below. It's 100% free to download, so go and check them out. So I'm going to give you a tour of the VideoProc Vlogger interface. So as you can see, the interface is clean and easy to navigate. On the left side, we have the main menu with all the editing tools and features. And on the right side, we have the preview windows where we can watch our footage as we work. Down here, we have the toolbar with all the basic editing functions like cut, copy, and paste. So below that, we have the timeline where we can add and arrange our video clips and audio tracks. And at the top, we have the media library where we can import and organize our media files. One thing I love about a video proc is that it has a wide range of advanced features for more experienced video editors. For example, we can use color grading tools to adjust color and lightning in our footage or the motion graphic tools to add text and graphics to our videos. So overall, the VideoProc Vlogger interface is user-friendly and packed with all the tools and features we need to create professional quality vlogs. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use VideoProc Vlogger to create a simple video. First, let's import our media files. To do this, click on the import button on the top menu and select the video and audio files that you want to use. You can also drag and drop your media files directly into the media library on the bottom of the screen. To add a clip to the timeline, simply drag it from the media library and drop it into the desired location. You can also use the trim and split tools to fine tune the length and placement of your clips. Next, let's add some basic transition between our clips. To do this, select the transition icon from the toolbar and drag it between the clips that you want to transition. You can choose from a variety of transition including fades, dissolves, and wipes. Now it's time to add some finishing touches to our video. We can use color grading tools to adjust color and lightning, or motion graphic tools to add text and graphics. We can also use audio tools to adjust the volume and add music and sound effects. And finally, let's import our video. To do this, click on the export button on the top menu and choose the format and quality of the output file. You can also specify the destination folder and name of the file. And that's it. It's easy to create professional quality videos in just few simple steps. So give it a try and see what you can create. So I'm going to show you how to customize the preference setting in VideoProc Vlogger. To access the preference setting, simply click the preference button on the top menu. So in the preference setting, you can customize a wide range of options to tailor VideoProc to your specific need. For example, you can change default language, set up your timelines, and customize your audio setting. One of the most useful preference setting is the output tab, where you can specify the default locations for your edited videos and the format and quality of the output file. You can also choose the variety of preset output file profiles for different devices and platform. Another helpful preference setting is the Hardware Acceleration tab, where you can enable hardware acceleration to speed up the editing process. So this is specifically useful if you have uh, powerful graphics cards in your computer. 
So overall, the preference setting in VideoProc Vlogger are a great way to customize and optimize the software for your specific workflow. So be sure to take a few minutes to explore all the options and see how they can help you to create even better vlogs. So advantage of video proc. So first and foremost, it can handle a wide range of video formats, including 4K and 1080p. And it has the tools for converting and compressing your videos to save space and optimize them to different platforms. So video proc also has advanced features for experienced video editors, such as color grading, motion graphic tools, and audio tools. So this makes it great choice for vloggers who wants to take their content to the next level. So finally, VideoProc is available for both Windows and Mac users, making it accessible to a wide range of users. Well, that is for today's video. I hope you enjoy learning about VideoProc vloggers and all its amazing features. So if you're looking for a powerful and user-friendly video editing software, be sure to give VideoProc a try. I'll put all the information in the description below. I'm sure you will love it as much as I do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.